Range World of Weather clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for November 9th to the 21st. There are going to be changes coming in the pattern, and that will be coming later. Uh, I'm going to explain that to you later in the, in the forecast. For the period 9th to 13th, we're forecasting large positive height anomalies near the Aleutians, a ridge, uh, excuse me, a trough across Western North America, and a ridge in the east, across the east central states. See a low amplitude flow, because I used to bar, um, the, the, um, so bars are spaced further apart. So um, we're going to go to the end of the period. And we see very little change still. Kind of like a west-southwest flow across east and U.S. And we look at the models. And you see there's very little change <coughs> in circulation. A trough will move into the east central states and bring above normal precipitation to that area. Heavy rain and mountain snows are forecast for portions of the west. Below normal temperatures are forecast for the west with anomalies of 15 degrees below normal. And uh, I think this map would be more like it. And above normal temperatures are forecast for the east with temperatures of 6 degrees above normal more so like like this <clears throat> okay uh, now we're going to look at the period for november 12th to the 16th here we are at the 12th still forecasting uh, strong positive anomalies near the Aleutians. trough over western north america ridge in the east kind of below normal uh, heights across much of canada And a low amplitude flow is forecast across much of the nation. Take a look at the climate forecast system. This is for the 16th. They're forecasting near to above normal heights, slightly above here in the east. Our trough is now further to the north. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting... Below normal temperatures here, above normal temperatures for this region, and temperatures are forecast to be uh, below below normal, with temperature anomalies of eight degrees at least below at least below normal here, and in the above normal area, forecast anomalies of eight degrees above normal for precipitation. I'm forecasting above normal precipitation for this region and here below normal precipitation for the southeast. Now we're going to look at the period from November 17th to the 21st. Here we are at the 17th. And now the GFS, now watch what the GFS does. This could be right. But um, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not buying it because the other models are showing more. We have a reversal of the pattern, a broad cyclonic flow across much of the east central states and a ridge here. Now, take a look at the ensembles, totally different. More like the pattern we have now. Um, this is with the uh, zone of flow above normal heights and trough here. Then we look at the European ensembles also forecasting a, a large area of um, negative height anomalies from Alaska into the east. But um, we got to wait and see how that goes. And now this is the Canadian zone of flow ridge here. That's the same as the, as the, the GFS ensembles. But... Um, But uh, the AO index is forecast to crash uh, by models, and the effects not be felt right away. Now, the European weeklies hold on to the warmth in the east, and in the week, in the week four period depicts a change where the upper heights rise in the northwest and western Canada, 
and heights lower over the plains in the Middle Atlantic. We have to see if that holds true, and that'll be later in this period. It might even be around Thanksgiving shortly thereafter. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures here, above normal temperatures for this region. And now we take a look at the temperature anomalies. We're looking at see, uh, we're looking at temperature anomalies here of of about four to six degrees above normal and um, below normal temperature area of eight degrees below normal. But look at how some of the models here are showing um, a change even sooner. That's why um, the GFS might be right. See, we have cooling here in the east. Look at this. This is the GFS. And also for precipitation, I'm forecasting above normal precipitation here and here below normal precipitation for this region. So that is the long range weather forecast discussion for November 9th to 21st. Thanks for coming to Jim Mullins World of Weather and have a good day.